Hey, what's up? It's Rob Savoy again over here with Keller Williams Middle Square Realty, team leader of the Veritas Group. I hope everybody's doing well today. Just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what a Chapter 7 bankruptcy is and how it relates to a property, okay? The reason why I'm talking about this is because I get asked this question all the time, not just by owners and not just by agents. Unbelievably, I also get asked by attorneys this question, all right? Okay, how does the Chapter 7 bankruptcy affect a property? Okay, and in particular, uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about vacant houses because I work with a, with a lot of owners who have these vacant houses. First of all, I just want to give you a disclaimer. Number one, I'm not giving you any legal advice over here whatsoever, okay? Cannot do that, will not do that, all right? I just want to give you facts, okay? So, this is how, th uh, I'll give you a scenario, okay? Many times when I speak with owners and they tell me, Oh, and I ask them about the uh, about the, um, about a vacant house that they own. All right, they say, "Look, this house does not belong to me. I filed for Chapter Seven bankruptcy back in 2013. Okay, five years ago. All right, the attorney told me the house is not mine anymore. I had to leave there. In fact, let's say it was a two, three, or four unit property. Uh, the the attorney even told me that I needed to tell all the tenants to leave. The house needed to be vacated because the house now belongs to the bank. All right, well." The fact is this, the house does not belong to the bank until the bank forecloses on the property, okay? The way, the way that it works over here in New Jersey, okay, is that we are a deed state, meaning that when you purchase the property, your name goes on the deed. So in order for your house not to belong to you anymore, you either have to sell it, okay? You either have, or the bank is going to foreclose on the property, okay? Now, when you fought for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, what that did was it, uh, it, 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 it basically discharged, it, 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 erased, it, it erased the financial obligation that you have to pay that mortgage. Let's say you have two mortgages. You filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. You told your attorney, I don't, I, I don't want this headache anymore. Okay. Okay, so what it did was it completely erased all right, the financial obligation that you have against the two mortgages. Okay, now... That doesn't mean that the house doesn't belong to you. Basically, the bank or the banks, all right, depending on how many, depending on how many mortgages you have, they still have a right on that property. They have a recorded mortgage on that property, but the property still belongs to you. Even but those mortgages you never have to pay for, okay, ever, okay. And this is one of the reasons why you see so many vacant houses around because many of these owners they filed for bankruptcy, okay. And on the advice of their attorneys, and I'm not saying that these attorneys gave them bad advice. It just, it, 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 I just wish it was a little bit better, <laughs> okay? Because the house still belongs to the owner, okay? I think the better type of advice would have been, hey, this house still belongs to you. Now you should sell it, especially if you're going to leave it vacant. I mean, there's so many things that could happen to a vacant and abandoned property, okay? Uh, so... Please keep that in mind. If you did file for a Chapter 7 bankruptcy and you left your home, does not it, that does not mean that the property does not belong to you anymore, okay? It means that it still belongs to you until it forecloses, all right? Now, if you want to find out if the bank has foreclosed on there or not, give me a call, all right? I can help you out with the title search, all right? It will not, I, I, I will do it at no cost to you whatsoever. It takes a matter of minutes, right? Just so that you know, also, attorneys who I work with all the time will probably charge you, and I love attorneys, will probably charge you a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars for something that'll take me about two minutes to do. I just go online, I check um, the title, and I can get it over to you, okay? So please give me a call. It will not cost you a penny, all right? Uh, once again, my number is 908-432-2526. That's my direct phone number. Call me, any, uh, call me anytime. Right? If I don't pick up, leave a message, right? And I'll see you in the, in, in the next video.